Hello, everyone. Welcome to CGTN live streaming here in the Nanjing city of Jiangsu province. This is reporter Wu Lei from CGTN. Today, I'm now in the special exhibition of China Space Conference. This is a time to review the past achievements of China space missions and also look for the future of these exploration missions. And today, I'm very glad to be joined by a special guest, Dr. Cui Yu Fu. Uh, from the, the project manager from the China Academy of Space Technology and also Dong Fang Hong Satellites Company. So, Dr. Sui, thank you, very, thank you very much for joining our live streaming. And uh, today we are live streaming in different uh, platforms, including CGTN, Weibo, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. And if you have any question or comment about China's space program, you can leave us a comment and we will answer question as, uh, as soon as possible, okay? Uh, so, Dr. Tsui, uh, I have noticed that this is a very uh, special uh, badge of this uh, Dong Fang Hong satellite, right? Yep, yep, uh, yep, you're right, pretty good. This is the badge of the DFH-1 satellite. That is the badge. So it's the first Chinese satellite. Yeah, that is the first Chinese sat satellite. I want to say some story of this badge. Mm -hmm. When I say in the world, not in, in China, in the world, the foreign friends always look at this. What's this? Mm -hmm. What's this? What's the real meaning of the spider? I told them this is the first satellite, DFH-1 satellite from China. And we know that this satellite was yeah. launched in 1970, April the 21st. Yeah. That's why uh, uh, this day was called the uh, Space Day of China, right? Yeah, that is the Space Day of China. So, uh, six years ago, uh, this, uh, this kind of, uh, how to say that, yep, Space Day of China was founded. So now, this time, this is the sixth Space Day, uh, Space Day of China that is rendered from this satellite, the FH-1 satellite. And this is the real scale with the real satellite, one to one. Uh, real size. The real size, real size, real configuration, and also real channel, real structure, all of that is real, although it's a model. Mm -hmm. And also yesterday, actually, at, on the Space Day of China, uh, the director of China National Space Administration, Zhang Kejian, has uh, confirmed that in the next few years, China will also uh, implemented the fourth phase of China's lunar exploration missions. Yep. As we can see here, there are some uh, parts of these uh, Chang'e uh, 3 projects, Chang'e yep. 3 lunar exploration missions. This is one of the model of the Yu-2 rover. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can operate it. It's a... As we can see that uh, this rover moves forward. Yep, um, the left, right, and uh, also Turn left, turn right. It's very Actually, this exhibition is very interesting because uh, uh, there are a lot of interactive experiences that uh, people have a better understanding yeah. about this rover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see that you, you can operate. You can operate this uh, rover, mm -hmm. although it's a model, but you can control it. So, for the fans of space, they can touch the satellite, mm -hmm. touch the rover with the hand forward back and turn left, turn right. Also, uh, this kind of uh, mechanics like that, left, le uh, down, like that. Look mm -hmm. that, okay, look at that arm. So we know China's Chang'e 3 was launched in 2013. Uh -huh. And this is uh, the China's first uh, rover in, uh, on the moon, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And also that is a milestone of the second step of lunar exploration uh, program. Mm. It's a very important stamp. And also this is a real size Chang'e 3 lander. Real size, real size, real configurations. It's quite huge, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, quite huge. So uh. this kind of propellant, this kind of launcher is very important to push this kind of huge uh, spacecraft to the moons. Okay, and also this is uh, China's Chang'e 4 yeah. lunar exploration mission and we can see this is a Chuechao relay satellite. Yes, it's really interesting. You know, that is the first time we explore the far side of the moon. Exactly. So. Actually, uh, when the Chang'e 4 was uh, launched in 2018, I mm -hmm. was there 
at the uh, launching uh, site? Satellite launch center. Ah, great. And uh, so. actually, uh, there are also a lot of uh, uh, scientists from mm -hmm. Germany mm -hmm. and also from Sweden. Different friends from different countries. Because uh, international cooperation has been a key feature for China's uh, space missions. Yes. Especially in this Chang'e 4 lunar exploration mission, mm -hmm. uh, China works a lot of com uh, countries. Uh, especially in, in, in this uh, lander and rover, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and because it's the right. first time for China to explore the far side of the moon. Ah, yeah. But anyway, that is the first, first time. Mm. So that's a milestone. For humans? Yes, uh, for the humans. So that is a milestone. So how to explore the far side of the moon? So I remember that three years ago in Bremen, 2018, mm -hmm. also the IC, uh, Zhang Kejian mm. announced that. For this, Chiu mm -hmm. satellite, Chiu Chiu relay, relay satellite. satellite shall provide this kind of information, a service to the other countries. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one kind of cooperation mm -hmm. with other, other countries. I think we can, you know, peaceful, peaceful utilize the deep space is very important. Mm -hmm. Then so all of the countries shall do that. We shall hand in hand to push the space into the hardest that utilize, peacefully uh -huh. utilize and cooperate with each other. Only with that. Okay. we can achieve the great progress uh, in the future. And actually, I have remembered that uh, in this Chang'e 4 lunar exploration, uh, there is some biological uh, mm -hmm. experiments uh -huh. yeah, uh, from yeah. Chongqing University, yeah. and uh, uh, there were some uh, seeds of the cotton mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. in the payloads mm -hmm. of this mm -hmm. Chang'e 4, mm -hmm. and they are trying to have some grow, uh, grow some uh, vegetables in the, on the moon. On the moon. Yeah. Yes, that is, uh, anyway, that is a very important step to do these kind of things. Uh -huh. You know, in the future, humankind, many, many people, many more people so will live in the moon, maybe in the really? future, not far away. <laughs> not far away. And, and this is uh, Chang'e 5. Uh, mm -hmm. Because this is a very important mission, and I was there too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I covered oh, the Chang'e 5, exactly. the launching and the returner. Mm -hmm. And also, we know that it was launched in 2020. And uh, that is also the China's first uh, uh, lander on the moon. And it has a, a sender Ascend, and returner. Yeah. Return, yeah, you're and right, it you're brought right. back the lunar sample for the mm -hmm. first time from, mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. Chinese scientists. Yeah, you know, for Chang'e 5 project is very complicated. You just mm. mentioned that there is a spacecraft, there is a sender, there is an orbiter, there is a lander, there is a rafa. So it's very, very compli so complicated. So this is uh, the container <laughs> have, for these lunar samples. Yeah, and also the substance returned from the uh, moon. Mm -hmm. mm. And also most important things is there. Yes. You know, so that is the we can moon. See that these is the lunar. are the real lunar samples ah. from the moon. Chinese scientists have been Okay. Uh, investigated and uh, try to find out more data of mm -hmm. these lunar samples. Yeah. You know, uh, the raw moon samples was uh, taken and returned to the Earth around 1,731 grams. Mm -hmm. Okay, my friends, we can look at the center of the circle mm -hmm. of the basket, the black part. Please look at the black part from the this. The color way. is quite different from yes. the Earth soil, right? Yep, yep. You can see that that is black. So, of course, which kind of uh, materials was in included in that? Mm -hmm. That shall be analyzed by the experts. By the yes, I heard that there some, some scientists say that there was some helium three, uh -huh, some yeah. chemical elements. Yeah, in the this valuable, uh, lunar soil. resources. Uh, also, these are the uh, lunar soils. We mm -hmm. can take a closer look mm -hmm. about these uh, lunar soils. Mm -hmm. So, you know, today I also heard an international commercial conference, and we also mentioned that how to peacefully utilize the space, deep space resources. I think that is one important step. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And China will um, offer more opportunities for these uh, lunar exploration missions. Mm -hmm. And uh, yesterday I talked with Mr. Norbert, mm -hmm. uh, space counselor of French Embassy of mm -hmm. China. And he said China and Fran France will continue their cooperation in China's Chang'e mm -hmm. 6 
project? Yeah. Maybe yeah. next year or the year before, uh, after next yes. year? I think from the same essay, they have a huge plan mm -hmm. to put forward this kind of lunar exploration program. They have, they have made huge uh, different steps, step by step. Mm -hmm. And you just mentioned that to you, cooperation. Okay, look at that. So these are some pictures of China's manned space mm -hmm. missions. We can see different astronauts. Mm -hmm. uh, because since 2003, China has sent 11 astronauts into space. Yes. Uh, the first astronaut is Yang Liwei, who has been uh, in the space in, in the space? 2003. Mm -hmm. Yep, while in space, that is the first uh, astronauts from China mm -hmm. into the space. And also, the, I, from this way, from this way, I think Mr. Yang Liwei is a hero, and it's, uh, he construct milestone, mm -hmm. milestone in these areas. And uh, we can see these astronauts need to undertake huge amounts of exercise, even underwater. Yes, before that, we must do much more uh, practice. practice and exercise. And uh, anyway, the training is very important. They must be familiar with the environment and also be familiar with how to operate. That is very important. And uh, he is the first one. Yeah, recently we know that step the uh, Chang'e, the, the, this uh, Shenzhou spacecraft, and also Long March second, uh, Long March the, the rocket has been in this Zhongquan satellite mm -hmm. launch center. Mm -hmm. This year, uh, another manned mission will be conducted, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. For uh, constructing of the China's uh, first space station. Yep, that shall be. That shall be launched not far away, I think. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, also we can see there are different kinds of pictures mm -hmm. showing the milestone of China's space missions. Yeah. So from these photos, we just recorded the different milestones of China's space uh, for, the, for the past. So recommend the past. We will push forward the future. We will explore the deep space and the, the Earth. So okay. With this kind of steps, we will do much more contribution to the humankind okay. from China. So we will continue to explore this exhibition about this China Space Conference uh, because this is a time to review the past achievements of China's uh, space uh, progress and also looking for the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, naturally, uh, we know in the next month, this May, yeah. Uh, China's uh, first uh, Mars rover, uh, Zhurong, that was just given name Zhurong. yesterday. Yeah. And uh, China's Tianwen Mars rover, uh, will, uh, Tianwen mission will be conducted this May. And uh -huh. he, it's uh, expected to land on the Mars. Yeah. This is, I think this is Lander. And that is, we just rover. mentioned that, Zhurong. Zhurong. I want to give my friends a story mm -hmm. why we say this name, Zhurong. Mm -hmm. You know, Zhurong is uh, uh, anyway it's a fairy story in ancient China. There is a god of fire, god of fire. That means Zhurong gave earth, gave the humankind fire. That is a hope, the light that of life, hope. life of hope. So and uh, also on the other meanings from China, Zhu means good wishes to the humankind, mm -hmm. to the earth. Zhurong that means cooperation. That means cooperation. Okay. So, in the future, I think with this kind of uh, activities like Juro, more and more cooperation will be executed by the different countries, different friends in the world. Anyway, the purpose is push forward to explore the deep space, to utilize the space, and so for the mankind. And talking about the cooperation, mm -hmm. Dr. Tui just mentioned about international cooperation, because uh, when Tianwen-1 was launched uh, in, in 2020, mm -hmm. and I was there too, and also uh, there are a lot of payloads on this uh, spacecraft, mm -hmm. and a lot of countries have been participated in, in this huge project. Mm -hmm. So they will conduct different kind of scientific experiments mm -hmm. on the Mars. Yep. Uh, from my perspective, not only for the Mars, also the other satellites, according to CIC, uh, I think they have this kind of, uh, anyway, this kind of advice, supplies to do the much more cooperation with other countries. Yeah. And as a detail, I think they have the detailed <laughs> information for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, actually, uh, we are now live streaming in different platforms of CGTN, and if you have any question or comment, you can leave us. And uh, I think this yeah. is... Uh, Beidou satellite system, uh -huh. 
And China has finished the constellation of the Beidou uh, navigation satellite system. And uh, now I think people from different countries and e regions can use kind, this kind of navigation system. Yeah, uh, not uh, on China, uh, not only in China, also the other countries. Some countries also utilize the BDF mm -hmm. service information. And uh, it's really convenient to do this kind of navigation for our daily life. And uh, mostly that shall be used step by step, much more popular, much more popular. And but uh, many popular. are wondering that uh, actually the world has already has uh, uh, like uh, different kinds of navigation system. Uh, the GPS and the yeah, GPS. Mm -hmm. But why does China need a, its own navigation satellite system? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good question. From my point, mm -hmm. anyway, BDS is a navigation satellite system that show to provide uh, how to say that navigation mm -hmm. information to our daily lives and uh, different uh, uh, constellations have different purpose anyway yeah, different like to precise uh, precision size precision like that it can be used in many scenarios yep yep mm -hmm. and so for the life also for the uh, the other domains mm -hmm. other domains and uh, also we can see this is a uh uh, simulation of the rocket launch, but now we are now having this afternoon. I think it's uh, probably the end of this exhibition today. There are very few visitors right here. Oh, and a real rehearsal of the launch. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, there is this kind of. How many launches have you been uh, witnessing over the past few years? Uh, you know, when I have this chance, anyway, I. At that time, I shall launch my own satellite. Uh -huh. That means the satellite sh was manufactured, developed by my team. Okay. So, till now, uh, I took part in, I'll be in charge of the satellite as a project manager, more than uh, 11 satellites, mm -hmm. and launched in the orbit. Okay, 11. 11. So, you have been there for 11 times? Yes, 11 times. <laughs> we all the launch activity. Okay. And uh, this is a return capsule of China's manned space mission, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And also there is some simulator to uh, provide this kind of uh, direct charge mm. for the fans, for the space fans. It's uh, really interesting. Let's take a look. Okay. So this is an interactive uh, experience. Can uh, you can Okay. Okay. They just uh, turn it off. I think you can take a. End of the yeah. This is probably the end of this uh, exhibition today. Actually, this afternoon here in Nanjing of Jiangsu Province. Okay. Um, but this year, actually, uh, many space fans are now uh, expecting China's uh, manned space missions. Uh, more Chinese astronauts were entering to space this year, mm -hmm, yeah. and uh, a crew have been selected, and they are now under uh, intensive training. Yeah. So, to my mind, you know, this year is very important. And I think Why it, this year is so crucial? You know, this year, mm -hmm. the space station, the uh, He Xinchang, He the Xin, the Tianhe uh, module, Tianhe Kou module mm -hmm. shall be launched. So that is a very important stone, because, uh, stone. Yeah. that is the base of the uh, China Space Station. Mm -hmm. That is the first step. The core module mm -hmm. of this space station. And also there is a payload module like that. The different modules shall be launched and integrated with each other. And step by step, the astronauts shall uh, work, live in the, these kind of modules. Mm -hmm. And different experiments shall be held. It. We know a few days ago that uh, China's Tianhe Kou module as well as the Chang of the Long March 5B mm -hmm. rocket mm -hmm. have been moved to the launch pad. They are ready to be launched very soon. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I think I already know that. <laughs> not far away, not yeah. far away, not so good. Just few days. Yes, just and uh, these days. are some of uh, the space suits for mm -hmm. the astronauts. Yeah. I think that is uh, the astronauts from the astro uh, yes, suit from the astronauts, mm -hmm. and that is the uh, astronauts suit uh, out of the module. Mm. That means the Talking about space. this uh, 
Chinese astronauts, and、uh, actually in the previous manned missions, they can only stay for several days or、mm-hmm. at、uh, mm-hmm. at most one month, right?、Mm-hmm. But、uh, now, because China is building its own space station,、mm-hmm. they hope that their astronauts can stay longer.、Mm-hmm. Yep, you're right. Anyway, the past is the one step, one important step. And step by step, you know, look at that modules. The different modules. That means the different modules was shall be integrated with each other. Not only the modules. That means the house. Also, the facility inside of the modules、mm. shall be equipped. And also, the living styles, living things, and living facilities shall be constructed.、Yeah. And also for the experiment. Facility yeah, because you will conduct、oh, a lot of、uh, experiments.、Uh-huh, yes, so they can stay there long, and long, and long time,、mm. not far. So, Dr. Tui, and、uh, can you tell us more about China's、uh, first space station? Because、mm-hmm. uh, people are wondering why China needs a brand new space station.、Mm-hmm. Anyway, I think space technology. Is interested all of the country, all of、uh, the humankind. So space station, I think to my point, that integrated much more the one's technology, much more technology shall be utilized in that. So、mm. the first point that shall, how to say that, to conduct much more new technology. So、uh, astronauts or scientists will have more experiments inside of this station, right? Yep, yep, you're right, and also. Um, this station is not only for Chinese scientists, but also for global scientists, right? Yep. You know, I think you know that、uh, from Ch- I think from China that is open. That is open. Much more cooperation shall be worked with each other. Shall be executed to work with each other, to live with each other, and to, I think, much more deep space exploration for that. As far as I know, that China has already. Uh, received some application,、mm-hmm. and they have decided that a total of nine projects、mm-hmm. proposed by 17 countries and regions、mm-hmm. uh, have been selected for the first round of、uh, experiments、mm-hmm. for China's new space lab. Yep, yep. Anyway, that is the first step.、Mm-hmm. More and more, this kind of cooperation, more and more countries show. Jo- I, I, I believe you to join these activities and also、uh, talk about the construction of China's、uh, first space station.、Mm-hmm. It has a core module named Tianhe, Tianhe. and also has、Hello. two labs、yeah. named Mengtian and Wen Wentian Experiments、yes. Lab. Experiments、yeah. Lab.、Mm-hmm. Yep.、Uh, core module.、Mm. That is best. The payload module you just mentioned that Wen Tian Meng Tian that is for the payload, and also there is、uh, the different point connected with each other.、Mm. Uh, that means more modules can be integrated in the future,、mm. and also there is a docking point, docking position for the manned spacecraft and also cargo spacecraft. So that the Shenzhou manned spacecraft will be docked with this core module.、Mm-hmm, yeah. The astronauts will enter into the core module and, and conduct the, experiments. Yeah. Can, and then from the core modules, can、uh, work in the core modules and、uh, also go into the other modules like payload, Tianhe, Wentian, Mengtian,、mm-hmm. like that. And also, there are some cargo ships like Tianzhou、mm-hmm. uh, so、from the, from the end part, from、yeah. the back part to dock with the core module. The, the Tianzhou cargo ship will provide all the、uh, yeah. necessary daily. materials, daily necessities、yeah. like food and water.、Mm-hmm. Yes.、Oh. And also, we know this is a very interesting part <laughs> because these are the、uh, fruits that are grown from the seeds、uh, mm-hmm. that mutated in space, right?、Mm-hmm. Yep. So I think this kind of seeds has a different experience. Mm. That is, they are lucky than other persons. You know, they fly into the orbit and also stay in the orbit. And now, they re-entrain the Earth and plant it in the Earth. Now that is a fruit. So,、um, how have you ever eaten this kind of fruits or vegetables? Not for me, but I think for the other person. <laughs> <laughs> but will they just? I mean, the taste will be different or the same? What's the difference between this one and the original one、okay. on Earth? Okay, we can give this、uh, question to the friends. They,、okay. in the future, they will have this kind of chance to taste the t- 
of the this kind of vegetables uh, food and also we can see wow, that these that flowers and also a uh, plant that are uh, growing from the seeds mutated in space it's mm -hmm. quite different okay. and also rose, yeah and uh, different uh, seeds uh, cultivated in the space mm. a different aspect wow. so space wow. breeding is one of the m very interesting projects for the space missions mm. and uh, they have been for years i think chinese scientists have been studying this mm -hmm. for years yep and, and uh, more will be expected in the years to come yep and uh, i think you know that uh, that is anyway that is that mm. the more and more different uh, uh, biology uh, says as uh, yeah, biological experiments yes, biological will be like conducted that. yep shall be cultivated in the space mm. and produce much more mm. And uh, we can see these are the families of China's rockets, mm -hmm. uh, China's uh, carrier rockets. Mm -hmm. And this one is uh, Chang, uh, Changzheng. Lama 2F, CV, uh, Changzheng 2F. Mm -hmm. That is for, I just mentioned that, maybe Swisscraft. Mm. <laughs> Long much to uh, 2F, Long much, Long much. You know, CV in Chinese pronounce is Changzheng. That is the first alphabet of Changzheng, so mm -hmm. CV. And also, we can name it as Long March 2F, CV. And the astronauts and the Shenzhou spacecraft uh -huh. will be on the top of the spacecraft, right? Ma, yep. The main uh, spacecraft and the Earth shall be mounted, integrated on the top of the launch, launch okay. vehicle. And uh, actually, how many types of rockets are there right here in China? Wow. Anyway, to be honest, I, I, I didn't count it. But... I know that there is a launch vehicle series, series from the smaller to the huge. Uh, no, but this China, is the huge. Yeah, this is the uh, very famous Pan Wu. The, he the, the most uh, heavy uh, carrier lift rocket here, mm -hmm. Long March 5. Mm -hmm. yep. This is the uh, largest uh, rocket here in China right mm -hmm. now. Yep, yep. You know, in the Leo orbit, the most powerful one. The most powerful in China now. Uh, I remember that 25 tons shall be launched in the orbit with this launcher, launch vehicle mm -hmm. into the Leo orbit, Leo mm -hmm. orbit. So, and yes, uh, also in, the, in the next few days, China's core module will be launched aboard a Long March 5B rocket Maybe, yep. at the uh -huh. Wenchang spacecraft launch site. Mm -hmm. And uh, this uh, Changzheng 7. 7 or Long March 7. Mm -hmm. I think this one will be a major carrier rocket for China's space mission in the next few years. Yeah, that is, uh, I think it's uh, the key launch vehicle. And also, Long March 8. Mm -hmm. So I just mentioned that how many... the have... features of Long March 8 or Changzheng 8? Uh, I think there is much more. Uh, anyway, that is the much more margin for mm -hmm. the payload. And more for... Look at this. Mm. That is, I think, it's a different one. You notice that it's Gu Ti, that means mm. solid propellant. Yes, with, solid uh, propellant it was launched launch. by uh, solid propellant. Yes, that is a smart launch. Mm. Can be used for the smart launch. It's very convenient. And also because uh, space is a kind of uh, sector that can be uh, used in many sectors, like mm -hmm. they can yeah. be turned into different artifacts and okay. also cultural products. Yes. There are a lot of uh, models, uh -huh. the kind of uh, rockets and uh -huh. uh, space uh, station. Mm -hmm. So, from my point, from my perspective, this kind of project is very important Why? for the space. For the space. Why? Your pretty good questions. You know, space, not only for the scientists, not only for the engineer, mm -hmm. also for all of the people. So, Especially for younger generations. Yes, younger generation. Younger generation is the hope in the future. So if we can uh, check the enthusiasm for the fans, for the youth, I think in the world, the space, space technology shall be pushed forward very quickly, very quickly, just because of this kind of fund, deep fund station of space. Mm. So I think it's a very important channel. Okay, uh, so actually this is probably uh, the end of the exhibition this afternoon. There are very few visitors here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talked about this uh, rocket, Kuai Zhou wow. rocket. Yep. 
Yep. This is from another company, not the China uh, Rockies company. Uh, from also from China, China Space. Also from China Aerospace Space. Aerospace technology. Mm. So this is a anyway, solid that, propellant rockets, right? Yep. Uh, quite. Yep. Uh, yep. So that is uh, till now. That is uh, how to say that. Uh, it's a smaller launch vehicle mm. for the small satellite, also in the LEO satellite, LEO mm. orbit, like that. Not like the, that huge well. launch vehicle. Uh, <laughs> and we talk about these uh, uh, commercial satellites, because mm -hmm. China right now have a lot of commercial satellites. Yeah. And uh, you, uh, the, you have been talking with all of the, a lot of the experts and engineers from other countries. Mm -hmm. What about the commercial uh, satellite market right now? Mm -hmm. uh, Pretty good point. Pretty mm. good po questions. You know, I in uh, from my hand. I just developed and launched several mm. uh, satellite mm. for the other countries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, for this kind of commercial cooperation, mm. cooperation, the first step is cooperating with the engineers from the other countries. We can mm. train them, and we can co work with them together. So. They can achieve much more space technology control in their hand. Mm. And because the U.S. is actually uh, doing a lot for the space, for commercial space market. Mm -hmm. And now a lot of countries are also interested in this kind of market. Mm -hmm. So to now we also uh, have this kind of commercial market for mm -hmm. the telecom satellite mm -hmm. and also for the op uh, remote sensing, op uh, optical satellite. Yeah. Uh, China is also... Uh, helping other countries to have their commercial satellites. Yep, for several countries, mm. not only telecom satellite, also of the remote sensing satellite, and not only for the satellite. Also, we help them construct their how to say that the space standard mm. and the space engineer. So, from the engineers, from the standards, from the knowledge, from the uh, satellite system. There is a, a kind of a cooperation from China. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Tui uh, Yufu from the project manager from China Academy of Space Technology. Thank you very much for Thank joining you. our you. program. So uh, this is probably the end of our live streaming here in Nanjing city of Jiangsu province. This a special exhibition is a part of the China Space Conference, which features a lot of high-level dialogues, exhibitions, and the conferences. So if you have any questions about the China Space and also future missions, and uh, we will try to answer your comments in the future. And uh, this year, besides China's Mars mission, a lot of other exhibitions and also space missions will be conducted, especially for China's manned missions. China's space station will be conducted by the end of 2022. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for looking, for watching our live streaming. Bye-bye. See you next time.